Hi, it's Hillary from the Nina, and I'm here with another art challenge. So today we're going to be doing some painting with oil pastels. And we're going to be doing oil painting with oil pastels, which is um, a fun thing that you can do. Um, when I used to do oil painting, I used to sometimes use oil pastels in my paintings, but um, not everybody has oil paint and um, most people don't. So it's a, a nice thing to try because it really, oil painting is really different from acrylic painting in a lot of ways. There's something really nice about it and really kind of clear and transparent and pretty about the colors, um, but with a lot more richness than say a watercolor painting. So I'll show you this sample that I've done. Um, as you can tell, um, it still is, I still use oil pastel, so it still looks like a pastel drawing quite a bit. But um, I've been able to kind of blend them and move them around in a way that I wouldn't normally be able to if I didn't uh, also incorporate some oil. And so I'll talk about what we're going to use to make this uh, in the next minute here. Um, and then we'll get started. So what I've got here is I've got my piece of paper that I'm going to be drawing on. I have um, a reference image and as you can see I really like drawing fish so I'm going to be using this and sometimes I like to use like magazines or different things as reference images so I'm going to use this fish um, I've got a couple of paint brushes here and I've also got my oil pastels um, if you don't have some of these you can ask and we can bring you some um, but they're pretty easy to find I think even at dollar stores and stuff like that and then the last thing you need is some kind of an oil. Now, um, you can't just use, you know, motor oil or canola oil. There are certain um, vegetable oils that you can use for this. Um, canola oil and like sunflower oil and peanut oil are not great for this because they don't really dry. Like if you've ever, you know, mopped up a grease spot, your your cloth or paper towel that you used it doesn't really dry, it doesn't evaporate, and, and so you'll always end up with a greasy painting if you use those. Um, and then it'll go rancid and it'll be awful. So what you should use, uh, and you can find this at art stores, but you can also get it at the grocery store um, sometimes, is this is walnut oil, but um, safflower oil works, and also so does linseed oil or flaxseed oil. So all of those will work. Um, and so if you are going to pick up supplies for this, look for walnut oil or linseed oil, flaxseed oil, or safflower oil. And all of those will work just fine. And again, it's something you can find at a grocery store. So, oh, and then I also have a cup of soapy water for washing my brushes afterwards. Um, but I'm not going to use this until the very, very, very end. So don't use this for water like you would normally because it's oil and water and they don't mix. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sketch out my fish. So I'm going to use a kind of a light color so it doesn't show up too much. And I'm just going to do a quick little drawing of a fish here. So I've got my drawing here. And I'm going to start filling in the background and I'll start showing you how to use the oil. So I am going to color in the background. I've kind of got like a greeny blackish background. So I'm going to just put some green in here. And then it's all going to get blended in to the black in just a second here. So I'm going to show you how to do that with the oil. I've got some black. Let's put that in there. I kind of avoid the fish area for now. And I'm kind of just kind of coloring in in sort of a you know haphazard way in the big areas where I can do that. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going around the thing here. I'll color in some more of that later, or maybe I'll leave it. Okay, now that I've kind of got that on there, I poured a little bit of this walnut oil into my cup here. And I'm going to be using that kind of just like, um, like you would water with a watercolor pencil or watercolor paint. And um, I'm putting it on and you can kind of see how I'm able to like blend the colors together and sort of spread them around. Well, that green one's kind of weird, it's sort of waxy, but it's still working. 
It looks kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to go and go over all this with the, the black. And then I'll show you some other stuff in a minute here. So I filled in sort of most of the background. Um, and there's places like you can see over here where the color is sort of less uh, bright, less saturated. And that's where I've just kind of taken the oil and sort of just pulled the color across. Um, when you're switching colors, like if you want to wash your brush, you just dip it in the oil and kind of rinse it out like the same way you would with water and watercolor. Then you kind of have to really um, wipe it out on some kind of a piece of paper towel because it's not going to wash the same way. Um, so I've kind of got this sort of background kind of quickly done and I can kind of put some more layers on now if I want. And there's some interesting things that happens when you put the oil pastel on top of the already oily areas. Like it applies in a really interesting way. So it kind of is almost slick, like a grease pencil or something, which is kind of neat. Um, and you can use that to make some really interesting marks. So I'm gonna kind of put some of the more details of this sort of background rock in here and maybe darken some of the darks in here. Ooh, this pastel is getting like really tiny. <laughs> um, and then I might go in again and put some more sort of highlights of a brighter color on. So the nice thing about this is again, yeah, you can kind of add layers to a certain extent. Um, and if you are finding that, um, like my work that I'm working on right now here is kind of just like oily. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe a little bit of that off. So I've got my background done now. So I'm gonna work on the fish. And I wanna do a couple layers with the fish because it's kind of got this sort of soft, um, the image that I'm looking at, the it's not, it's like a soft sort of gradient. So I'm gonna do a lot of blending with this layer and then put another layer uh, on top of all the patterns and spots and stuff. So in my reference image, it's got kind of like light yellow for the tail. And I like this because you can kind of just sort of scribble the colors on because we're gonna smush this all around later. So I'm just kind of scribbling these colors on. And this is one of the reasons why this looks so nice and why oil painting in general is so nice is because you can end up with all these, it's very light and bright and transparent, but it has brighter pigments than watercolors do. So this is what I'm gonna start with. I hope my oil's not too murky. I think it should be okay. All right, so I'm blending this around. You can see my oil is a little bit sort of murky, but that's actually fine. That'll kind of make the fish feel like it's part of the environment. So I'm just gonna get this layer on here. Oops, dragging my paint everywhere so you can, pulling the black in, getting a little bit murky. There we go, okay. And then I might put some of that white back because I like that really bright, central, shiny area of the fish. And the other thing you can do with this is if you do sort of like make a mistake, you can actually kind of wipe it off to a certain extent before it's dry, which is a nice thing to be able to do. That's pretty good. There, put some more white on there. And then uh, I've got this on there. I'm going to add uh, the spots and some of the sort of more darker details of the fish. And put some orange up here. We'll blend that in. Coloring this little fin here. This little mouth. I'm looking at a picture you guys can't see right now, so. It looks like I'm just doing a really good job and doing this all from my imagination, but I'm not. I'm, I'm using a reference picture, which I like to do because um, that's how you learn. There we go. So now that's all kind of blended on there. So beautiful and luscious. Okay, then we'll put the details on and then it'll be done. Do some spots here. So, um, yeah, putting 
That one's really big. Get the eye in there. Oops. Whoa, that's a crazy eye. Okay, I, I got it in. I reined it in. It's fine. I'm running out of pastel. I'm trying to copy the pattern on this fish because it's really interesting. It's not like just sort of ordinary polka dots. It's like all over the place. Um, so this is a lot different than an oil pastel drawing because it's um, really like, again, like really nice and blended and smooth looking. So, um, so this is done and I'm just going to show you one quick thing about how to kind of take care of your brushes afterwards. So that's what I've got this sort of soapy water here for. So um, because we're using oil, you're going to definitely want to use some kind of dish soap or even hand soap in there to kind of get all the oils off of the brushes. If you don't, you won't be able to use them for anything else. You won't be able to use them for watercolor. So we want to just be really nice and take care and get our brushes nice and washed with soap. And then um, that should be good. So um, I think that's it for this project. Um, if you do this project, send us your images. We would love, love, love to see them. And um, we'll see you again later for another art challenge. Thanks. Bye.